Hi, Santiago from Upsev here. In this video, we will get started with the Ultimate Inventory System. First, I would like you to notice that I am using Unity 2019.4 and that I am using UIS version 1.1. Here, we have a simple scene with a character that has a simple movement script and a camera that follows the player. We will see how to add an inventory to this character. First, we'll go to Tools, Upsev, Ultimate Inventory System, Main Manager. Here, we'll press on Setup and select our database. Here, the demo database will have the item categories and definitions from the demo. We'll get started by duplicating the demo database. This might take a moment. We'll put it under Tutorial. And here, just a heads up, you cannot create a folder directly in here. You will need to do so by creating the folder in Project View. Let's try again. Duplicate. Tutorial. My Project. We now have our own database, which has copied all the item categories and item definitions from the demo. Next, what we need to do is set up our scene. Let's press Add Components, and we'll see it added this game game object, which has an inventory system manager, which references the database. Here, in Character Setup, we'll see our character. Our character can be set up here with the player tag, or we can drag and drop it manually. Once you add the components, you will see that we added an inventory identifier, an inventory item user, and an inventory standard input, a currency owner, and an inventory interactor. Then we'll add some save components, drag and drop the character, and press add components. This will see that we have an inventory and a currency owner, and therefore we'll be adding an inventory saver and a currency owner saver. It also added the save system manager and the inventory system manager item saver to the game game object. Finally, we can start adding some UI. To do this, we head to the UI designer in this tab. We can set up our canvas here which added our inventory canvas with a display panel manager, which references our character as the panel owner, which is important as the panels will get the inventory and the item user from this component. Finally, we need to choose our UI designer schema. For now, we only have the classic one, but more are on the way. We can press duplicate and choose where to save our schema. This may take a while since it needs to duplicate all the prefabs and scriptable objects for our UI. There you go, it finished. Once it finishes, we can press this button, Spawn in Scene, which will create all our UI we want. Finally, before we get started, We'll get to the setup scene again and we'll create an item pickup. To do this, we'll choose a 3D model. Here, let's take a bag from the demo, which is just a model. It doesn't have any scripts on it. And we'll also take an item view prefab. Here, we select item view for list. And we'll see that this one is one we just created with our UI designer schema. Then we press create and we'll see that we have an item pickup. Let's close the manager and move our item pickup. We'll now set an item to the item object. For example, we can set a bomb 
we'll duplicate to make another one and let's add something else some heal weed we can also add some items to our character in the inventory in our item collection let's add a big bomb a nice wand and a knight armor or knight boots let's put five of each we'll also add some currency in the currency owner some gold silver and bronze if we go under our inventory canvas we'll see that we created a gameplay panel, a main menu, a crafting menu, and a shop menu. For the crafting menu, let's set up under our crafter, the item category, with all the recipes we want. Let's select. And for the shop, let's add some items that we can buy. For example, some potions and some wood. Let's see it in action. Press play. Let's pick up our items. We can open our inventory in the main menu and we can see the descriptions. There are no item actions since we haven't specified any. We can save and load in the save load menu. Go back to the inventory and exit. There's no way to open the shop and crafting menu since we haven't added any code or any components to add those. But for debugging purposes, we can right click on the display panel and press smart open. Now we can start to craft some items. Unfortunately, we do not have the ingredients. We can exit. And we can do the same for a shop menu. Here, right click, smart open. We can buy a potion. And we can sell some of our items. There you go. In just a few minutes, you've basically built an inventory for a game. That is all for this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!